Okay, here it is guys, the time has come for... Oh, it says 2 to 10% reparation event. Yeah, there he is. We got him, that was hard work. Um, but it wasn't too hard work, then say 4 star was obviously hard work. Uh, I'll be interested to find out what the cutoff scores for that and uh, if I've managed to upload this video in time, I should be able to give you an idea of what the cutoff points were. So uh, do look out for that. Um, or maybe we can have a look. Let's have a let's see if we can try. But let's claim this now. So we're claiming those lovely. All claimed, all claimed, critically acclaimed. So in order to get this at uh, the two percent uh, to ten percent, it was um, I required to put in five hundred thousand points. Um, I know that uh, some other people put um, that put in a lot of effort into this at, uh, at three uh, for the three star. Obviously, a lot of people put an effort for the four star, so you know, good on you. But um, I had more of a chance of getting it at three star than I had any any other way. So that's the way it all rolls. So I was just scrolling through the list and I found Yeet Boy. I don't know if one of Yeet's uh, other accounts. Here is Civil Warrior. Um, it took me 500k to uh, to get this at three star. Uh, Rumours are fly flying in that it took about uh, 30 mil to get the four star version um, yeah I mean going back to my video which um, should be appearing over over in the top left hand corner when uh, this was first teased um, uh, through uh, MCOC mods video um, the concept of the character is it undermines a lot of uh, I'd say ideals that Steve Rogers stood for um, in that he's kind of gone back on everything and kind of giving in to Tony Stark um, and his his way of thinking by getting into like uh, put the suit of armor on we'll go a few rounds is like the the man is made by being a man and obviously to hide behind a suit of armor is to hide away from your problems yada 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 bullshit like that but you get my point obviously go and see that video um, as it will show you a bit kind of like more um, we talked about the various different things at the time I didn't know much information about the character so we've got um, uh, L1 Arc Blast. Um, Civil Warrior triggers his advanced uh, Stark Tech, yada yada, going for armor up charges. So that's, I'm guessing that's a stackable thing. Um, increases armor, repulsor rush, uh, depletes up to 48% of the target's max power. 100% uh, chance to power drain, uh, sorry, overload, 100% chance to power drain, depleting up to 40% of the target's max power. If the target reduced to zero power from this attack, you will also become power locked for six seconds. They also become power locked for six seconds. That could be quite effective. God, just imagine if you have. That can really, that could really be quite um, uh, a, a very powerful uh, ability, especially if you're say in the arenas and you're facing off against a champion. That's uh, you know. So imagine that you say you're about 25% health um, on your character. Uh, the enemy is about to say hit you with their, um, their third special and you're about to get knocked out so that would if you hit yours in first you will then drain um, uh, all those all those, those points um, so 42% of the points I wonder then as it gets awakened but that ability uh, improves so that could be a really effective character and I like the way that Kabam have introduced these new characters in order to kind of make taking on criticisms where say players might say well if they've got the third special then technically I'm dead uh, no you've still got a chance with regards to this character obviously it won't happen for maybe they could make a mastery that could improve that um, for the purpose of arenas where you're facing off and you're just going like well I've done I've staged an amazing fight back but unfortunately boom they hit me with a third and then that's it game over uh, I know I've been in those situations before um, obviously let's talk about the bio <laughs> I will. I probably have to go more in depth with the with uh, with it because of this, all this is made up. Um, so there are many rumors about the origin. Blah 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 blah. Civil warrior, alternate Earth. Blah da yada yada. Uh, Steve survived, but yeah, I know. So, so Steve Rogers tried to kill. Um, did kill Tony Stark. Uh, Arc technology is a Captain America's gear. He vowed to use this French legacy to stop senseless conflict from ever happening again. And now he hops from universe to universe, spouting this 
lovely, lovely bio of nothingness. Which is great because uh, it's just not really... I mean, I kind of said in the video I wouldn't be going for this. I did go for it, but that's because I wanted to really kind of look at the concept. Because there's, there's interesting concepts. Like I said with the specials, the concepts of this character mean that it, it's where the way that the game is going, it's these characters write a few wrongs. They kind of um, say if there's a crack, like I just explained about the arena thing, a crack. Kabam have kind of like put a... A kind of a board over the top so you can walk over. That's kind of like how it is. Because then you've got Arc Shield. Now obviously this isn't an Awakened ability. I may may Awaken it. I don't know. Maybe I'll go in for the second lot and have a look at the Awakened ability. Her uh, second lot of arenas. Um, so if you hit Heavy heavy Block. See this may be quite good for, um, for Realm of Legends. Or maybe, uh, you know, in the future, like, say, Realm of Legends 2. 88% chance to inflict heal block, preventing the target from re recovering health for three seconds. Now, I wonder if that is indeed um, going to increase when... Obviously, it will increase when you uh, awaken up the ability, but how much to? Will that 88% turn into 100% as it's ranked up or, um, or even leveled up? So, awakened up. And will the duration increase? Yes, undoubtedly. Um, any extras with that? So, when attacked for each arm up effect active, Civil Warrior's advanced Stark Tech protects him further, reducing enemy offensive ability accuracy by 12% per arm up charge. That could be quite effective. Uh, blocking. 70% 70, 70 chance, chance to armor up, reducing from attacks by 6% for 6.25 seconds. So this character is very geared up for um, armor, which is is fantastic. Because again, you haven't seen. Imagine that as well. Stack, you know, stacking with your masteries and uh, and and other abilities. Sorry, stacking with the masteries. You could have a really effective armor block character. So this could be really really good going forward. The thing is, let's get let's get this guy into the action and, and see see how he plays. I must quickly talk about the synergies now. Um, yeah, friends, uh, all champions. Obviously, this is like this is um, uh, Winter Soldier, Falcon. All of them seem to get um, increased percentages on um, on armor, and then teammates being um, being guillotines. So this might actually, like I said, this might be a quite an interesting character for usage in um, Realm of Legends. You've got the 4% block proficiency chance that, now considering that the type of characters you're going to be putting into the uh, the realm, your team would be, uh, say, for, say for chance, 4-star uh, Doctor Strange, 3-star Doctor Strange, 4-star well, say my, my case, four star, uh, Scarlet Witch, uh, Guillotine, and instead of instead of um, having, uh, say, Star Lord, what if you had Civil Warrior? That would probably be uh, either seen a good a good idea or a bad idea. Obviously, at the moment I'm training at the moment to do it, so I got Star Lord. But you could say that um, you could use you could use this character if you didn't feel confident with your block proficiency and I may choose to give this a chance so I may have to look to awaken this character uh, for the purposes of that. Now that I've, I mean I have, I do criticize the character for its reasons for being in but I understand that Kabam have probably done something in the lines of it being for their comic book series, the reason being that they've got guillotine there. Um, so you know, for example look, this is this is a, a Contest of Champions comic book here and obviously you've got guillotine there. Uh, which is a, a character that was uh, made by uh, Kabam, the same way that the Civil Warrior is. So that could be um, something to do with the fact that um, I don't actually kind of purchase these comic books of Contest of Champions, but that may be a reason why the character, there's something going on with the comic books that they're doing, and then they're trying to intermingling it, uh, so to speak, with the game. 
but like I said, maybe worth a chance using uh, Civil Warrior in a Realm of Legends team. Maybe I can give that a go, but I think I need to awaken that ability in order to give that a try. So look out maybe for that video in the future. Okay, so what I'm going to quickly do is, uh, as you can see, I've set up some synergies um, that um, have a lot on block proficiency. So hopefully this may improve things. Um, I don't know, obviously I'm taking um, a character which I can't actually rank up or, or uh, I've leveled it up to uh, to the point where I can rank it up from rank 1 to rank 2 uh, but um, I can't take it any further and I haven't awakened it yet because I can't. So I'm going to give it a try in this format and you know hopefully I might be able to give it a good run through because I haven't tested the character so therefore you know that's something Kabam I think would be really good for them is if they gave us a chance to test characters out. Um, from a point of, of, of play, does it play? Um, because, you know, I, I, I really want to know before, it's like try before you buy. You've got to try before you buy to know if something's going to be good or not. Um, like a tester. And I thought those showcases that they did were quite good, but, you know, it's, um, it would be good to then play the character to kind of say, well, do I want to buy said character? So let's give this a go. Well, that's a good start in any case. The move set seems to be very kind of um, uh, like fluid in motion. I'm still taking like a low amount of damage there. So that shield shields up like threes and fours. That's pretty good. Like armor wise, it's pretty darn decent. So let's just showcase L1. So it's just in like a normal kind of armor up. So you just increase that. I'm still taking a significant amount of damage, but that's obviously based on the awakened ability not being quite good, or not being as good as it could be. But still, I'm quite surprised at how like less amount of damage that I am receiving. Um, bleed wise, pff, you know, let's just take it down. Second L2 there. That's the L2. That's still pretty decent. Um, I should just stop and see. How much? And it's not really. The thing is, it's not that powerful because it's not whittled down the health quite so much. Um, however, though, um, it's still effective enough. So let's see if we can save up now and try and get the um, the L3. It's good fluid motion. It seems to the power bar to go up quite fast on the character. Uh, armor armor up seems to be triggered quite quite frequently, which is nice. Right, hit that L three. And where is that? Yeah, I mean it's good character. Um, it's not without its charms. That's interesting. I'll just shove my shove my shield into the air. 